Hello everyone, I'm Anna, and today on our channel we're going to address a topic that many individuals may be curious about. How to make your penis bigger quickly. The quest for a larger penis is something that many people seek, whether it's for confidence, satisfaction, or other personal reasons. In this video, we'll explore various methods and techniques that claim to offer quick results for penis enlargement. However, it's crucial to approach this topic with caution and skepticism, as there are many misconceptions and potentially harmful practices out there. We'll discuss the science behind penis enlargement, debunk common myths, and provide evidence-based insights into what really works and what doesn't. Remember, there are no shortcuts or overnight solutions when it comes to altering your body, and your safety and well-being should always be the top priority. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to support us. Let's embark on this journey together and explore the truth about making your penis bigger quickly. Penis extenders. These devices claim to stretch the penis over time, resulting in increased length. However, their effectiveness is debated and they require consistent use over several months. Penis pumps. Vacuum pumps create suction around the penis, drawing blood into the erectile tissues and temporarily increasing size. Results are temporary and may pose risks if used incorrectly. Penis enlargement surgery. Surgical procedures such as penile lengthening or girth enhancement are invasive options that carry risks of complications, including infection, scarring, and loss of sensation. Penis enlargement pills. Some supplements claim to promote penis growth through hormonal or blood flow changes. However, their efficacy is unproven, and they may contain undisclosed ingredients or pose health risks. Jelking exercises. Jelking involves massaging and stretching the penis to purportedly increase size. While some individuals claim benefits, there is limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness. Weight loss. Losing excess weight can make the pubic fat pad less prominent, resulting in the appearance of a larger penis. However, this does not increase actual size. Trimming pubic hair. Trimming or shaving. Pubic hair can make the penis appear larger by exposing more of the shaft. It's a temporary solution, but may enhance aesthetics. Healthy lifestyle. Maintaining overall health through regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate sleep can optimize sexual function and promote confidence, regardless of penis size. Penis exercises. Some techniques, such as Kegel exercises, focus on strengthening pelvic floor muscles, potentially improving erectile function and control, but not directly increasing size. Psychological support. Seeking counseling or therapy can help address body image concerns and improve self-confidence, reducing the focus on penis size as a measure of masculinity or worth. Communication with partners. Open and honest. Communication with sexual partners about desires, preferences, and insecurities can foster intimacy and reduce performance-related anxiety. Acceptance. Embracing one's body and accepting its unique characteristics, including penis size, is essential for self-esteem and overall well-being. Alternative sexual activities. Exploring alternative sexual activities and pleasure zones beyond penetrative intercourse can enhance intimacy and satisfaction in relationships, irrespective of penis size. Medical consultation. If concerns about penis size persist, consulting with a qualified healthcare provider or urologist can provide personalized advice and recommendations based on individual circumstances. Peer support. Engaging with peers or support groups who share similar concerns about penis size can provide validation, empathy, and practical tips for coping and self-improvement. Media literacy. Developing critical thinking skills to evaluate media representations of masculinity and sexuality can help challenge unrealistic standards and reduce feelings of inadequacy. Cultural awareness. Recognizing and questioning cultural norms and stereotypes surrounding penis size and masculinity can promote acceptance and diversity in sexual preferences and experiences. Educational resources. Seeking reliable information from reputable sources about sexual health, body image, and masculinity can empower individuals to make informed decisions and challenge misinformation. Self-education. Taking the initiative to educate oneself about sexual anatomy, function, and pleasure can enhance self-awareness and confidence in sexual relationships, regardless of penis size. Community engagement. Participating in community initiatives or activism aimed at promoting body positivity, sexual diversity, and inclusivity foster solidarity and collective empowerment. Legal and ethical considerations. It's important to consider the legality and ethics of methods used to increase penis size, prioritizing safety, consent, and respect for oneself and others. Consultation with experts. 
Seeking advice from experts in sexual health, psychology, or body image can provide personalized guidance and support for individuals struggling with concerns about penis size. Risk assessment. Before attempting any method to increase penis size, it's crucial to assess potential risks, benefits, and alternatives in consultation with qualified healthcare professionals. Responsible decision-making. Making decisions about penis size enhancement should be based on accurate information, realistic expectations, and consideration of personal values, preferences, and well-being. Consent and autonomy. Respecting individual autonomy and bodily autonomy is paramount. Ensuring that any actions taken to modify penis size are voluntary, consensual, and informed. Empowerment. Empowering individuals to make choices that align with their values, desires, and goals promotes autonomy, self-determination, and well-being in sexual health and relationships. Personal growth. Engaging in self-reflection, personal growth, and self-improvement beyond physical appearance fosters resilience, confidence, and fulfillment in all aspects of life. Social support networks. Building strong social support networks of friends, family, or peers who provide validation, encouragement, and empathy can buffer against feelings of inadequacy or insecurity. Healthcare access. Ensuring equitable access to sexual health services, including counseling, therapy, and medical interventions, promotes well-being and reduces disparities related to body image or sexual function. Sexual pleasure. Prioritizing mutual pleasure, exploration, and communication in sexual relationships promotes intimacy and satisfaction, transcending concerns about penis size or performance. Consensual relationships. Cultivating relationships based on trust, respect, and open communication ensures that sexual interactions are consensual, pleasurable, and affirming for all parties involved. Personal resilience. Developing resilience and coping skills to navigate societal pressures, stereotypes, and judgments about masculinity and body image fosters confidence and self-acceptance. Advocacy. Advocating for policies, practices, and representations that promote body positivity, sexual diversity, and inclusivity advances social justice and equity in sexual health and well-being. Intersectionality. Recognizing the intersecting influences of gender, sexuality, race, ethnicity, ability, and socioeconomic status on body image and sexual experiences promotes understanding and solidarity across diverse communities. Critical reflection. Engaging in critical reflection and dialogue about societal norms, expectations, and attitudes towards masculinity and sexuality fosters awareness and collective efforts towards positive change. Educational initiatives. Supporting educational initiatives that promote sexual health, consent, and respect for diverse bodies and identities equips individuals with the knowledge and skills to navigate complex sexual landscapes. Advocacy for inclusivity. Advocating for inclusive sexual health care policies, services, and resources ensures that all individuals have access to affirming non-judgmental support for their sexual health needs. Celebration of diversity. Celebrating diverse expressions of masculinity, sexuality, and body image cultivates a culture of acceptance, appreciation, and affirmation for all individuals, regardless of penis size or appearance. Media representation. Challenging harmful stereotypes and representations of masculinity and sexuality in media promotes diverse, realistic depictions that reflect the complexity and richness of human experiences. Education and empowerment. Providing comprehensive sexual health education and empowerment programs equips individuals with the knowledge, skills, and confidence to make informed decisions and advocate for their rights. Prevention of harm. Prioritizing harm. Reduction strategies, including accurate information, access to resources, and supportive environments, reduces the risk of negative outcomes associated with body image concerns or sexual dissatisfaction. Cultural competence. Cultivating cultural competence among healthcare providers and educators ensures that sexual healthcare is respectful, inclusive, and responsive to the diverse needs and experiences of individuals and communities. Collaborative partnerships. Building partnerships and collaborations across sectors, including healthcare, education, advocacy, and community organizations, maximizes resources and expertise to promote sexual health and well-being. Research and innovation. Investing in research and innovation in sexual health and body image contributes to scientific understanding, informs evidence-based practices, and drives progress towards health equity and social justice. Policy advocacy. Advocating for policies that promote sexual health, body positivity, and inclusivity at local, national, and global levels advances human rights and social justice in sexual health care and education. Professional development. 
Providing ongoing training and support for healthcare providers, educators, and advocates enhances their capacity to deliver effective, culturally competent sexual health care and education. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest uploads and help support our community. Your likes and comments mean the world to us, so please don't hesitate to share your thoughts. We'll see you in the next video for more exciting content. Until then, take care and keep exploring.